Hi guys, so today we're going to go through what's in the August Honey Pop Club box. So this month's theme was cute as fuck and basically I just filled the box full of really adorable things from indie brands that I love. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to show you guys is exclusive to this month's Honey Pop Club box. You can't buy this anywhere, you have to get it in the box. And it is a tote bag from Claire Barkley Draws. Now, I told Claire what the theme was and she came up with this design and I just approved it. I love it. I love it. It's so, so adorable. Claire prints everything by herself. She's got a little cute business card and a little terrific tote on the bags so you guys can go and check her out from there. And all of the other items are in the tote bag, obviously. Um, so, let's go through it one by one. Next we have a postcard set from Studio 5 and it's a set of five postcards so you'll get one of each of these in there and I love the illustrations, I actually have the manatee t-shirt and it's super cute. Basically the company is run by two sisters who want to create things ethically and focus on sort of designs based around nature and their their postcards are amazing so I'm gonna frame mine you guys can either send them to people I quite like the idea of actually sending snail mail since I can't remember the last time I did it um, and I wonder how many of you guys have never sent snail mail that's a little bit depressing um, but yeah I, I love these and so you get one pack in your bag that comes with the five postcards lovingly hand tied so let me know let me know what you guys are doing with them if you're gonna frame them or if you're gonna send them to people maybe we can start some sort of chain mail gang you know the, the good kind of chain mail not the like repost this or you'll die kind of chain mail <laughs> so next we have not one but two two lip balms so these are from Lucky Cloud Skincare and if you've been following Honey Pop Kisses, you'll see I've reviewed their skincare line within a couple of different posts. Basically, they're handmade, they're all natural, they're vegan. So we've got the Bloomin' Marvelous Lip Butter and the Coconut Lip Bar. And the Coconut one is their best seller, but I wanted you guys to have two because you can't ever have enough lip balm. So you don't get cuter than hair flare. And I love that it's called hair flare. So this is by Crown and Glory and it's got a little clip on the back of it and it actually also has a brooch pin so you guys can wear it as a brooch if you don't want to put it in your hair. It's adorable right? It's totes adorable. I can't believe I just said the word so it's, it's totally adorable. <laughs> it's totally adorable right? So I actually think I might just, no I'm not going to leave that because I don't actually know how it looks. <laughs> But yeah, so this is the, your little hair flare by Crown and Glory. It's really sturdy, it's actually quite big. Um, and it's a heart that says, love myself. Because what's fucking cuter than loving yourself? Nothing. Nothing. And it's pink, yay! Lastly, we have my favorite pin badge. So this is from a Canadian indie designer called Alora. She's actually called, I think, Alorasaurus, but I'm not really sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly. So I'm sorry, Alora. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing your name correctly, but I love you and I love your pin badge. Little pastel speech bubble that says, fuck off in rainbow colors on it. C can you get better than that? Can you? Because I don't think so. I really don't think you can. I actually have another one of these that I got years ago, but I keep one of every Honey Pop Club box. You know, memories. Um, but this is definitely going on my other leather jacket because you can't have enough pin badges that say fuck off, right? <laughs> Perfect. So that was our cute as fuck box. I hope you guys liked it. It's honestly been one of my favourite boxes to sort of curate and put together. Um, next month's box is actually a collaboration between myself and indie women's wear designer Billy Jacobina. Now I covered Billy's 
first show for Fashion Scout London, um, like three, four seasons, three, three seasons ago, three seasons ago for London Fashion Week, and her collections are amazing. They're just full of fun, full of life. So I'm really excited for you guys to see what's in September's box. As always, the subscriptions open on the first of the month and they end on the seventh of the month. The Billy Jacobina box will be limited edition, so for everyone who subscribed already, you'll definitely get it. But I actually think we only have like five spares. So if you want the Billy Jacobina box, make sure you remember and subscribe on the 1st of September or you might miss out. Sorry. Sorry. Um, sorry. Uh, yeah, it's super exciting. Um, as always, if you guys want to buy any of the previous boxes, they're all listed on honeypopclub.com. But if you guys have any questions, please leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe. I know I sound like a broken record when I say me and Sherry will be doing more videos together, but we have a super exciting project in October and there will be loads of video content from it. Even if it's just me following her about with a camera. Um, thank you guys for watching. Bye.